Hello. <laughs> so I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're all sticking to your New Year's resolutions. I hope you're having a good year so far. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been out a few times and I've not recorded. I've had a few problems again with the GoPros. It just seems to be one thing after another with them. Um, the batteries have been saying that uh, they're too cold to be used um, and they've been fully charged and then they've just discharged and they've just, they've just been all there. So I contacted GoPro. They sent me two brand new ones. So again, a good customer service there with GoPro. GoPro. Going back to what Gon was saying to me a little while ago, I contacted them regarding um, getting a new front wing or a rear stab combination, and they got back to me and they said that the best thing for me to go for would be another fluid. So the Fluid LT is a smaller wing, so it's about 1200 centimeters squared. So I will go faster on that wing. I specifically asked for more speed and being able to turn through the curves. And the reason I wanted that is because where we are, onshore mush, two, three, four foot of mush coming onto the shore and they're just little short waves that you can play around in. I believe that the, the fluids are, are great for the onshore mush that we get in the UK, as opposed to the Veloces, which will give you that bit more glide, but you lose a little bit of the turning ability by using those. I have been trying to take some time out to myself just to learn these tacks. Um, and I've been falling in an awful lot, but I'm almost getting quite a few now. I'm sort of getting maybe 60% of them. But the winds that we've been having lately have been sort of like 10 miles an hour through to about 30 miles an hour or something like that. Really, really gusty, really, really challenging to learn anything in those conditions. And it's been about minus one, minus two recently. So it's, it's been pretty cool to get out as well. But I have got a couple of sessions in. Um, today I'm meeting Sav and Grant, and I think Dave's gonna be there as well. So we're gonna have a little look down and see the guys. It's usual in the northeast, it's blowing anything from 50 to 25, but it is forecast to be gusted to 50 later on. So I'm gonna take everything, including my four. So let's set off. And here we are at Sunny Seabird. Well, sunny for now. And there are a lot of them, me mind. Sunny Seabird, middle of winter, January. There you go. Well, this battery keeps turning itself off. It says uh, we've run out of battery at 90 percent. So there you go. It's cool today. Got two mad swimmers in. There's a few foilers coming down. I might want a five yet myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh back from Gulla! <laughs>
still going. Go on, grunt man. You're not going to impress me. Three hours on the water. <laughs> That's enough for anybody. The tide's even coming. Grant's still out. Must be mad. Downpour of rain. Oh. Right, let me get me bored and go home. Because I'm freezing. Right, it's coming out now, it's stopped raining, look. He must love the rain. There you go, if you want to learn how to wing surf, then you've got to stay out and go out in all the weathers. Well, I hope you enjoyed that session. I know I did. So it was good to see Sav. He's been away for a little while. He went to Goa for Christmas, which was fantastic for him. So, but you know, he's been missed. So it's good to see him back. Uh, see Grant, he was out some new gear today, trying that. Dave as well, he was out today. That was really good to see him. It's really hard to chase him down and get much footage of him today because it was really blustery and gusty. The conditions were anything from about 20 knots, 25 knots, up to um, a, probably about 42 knots. It was nearly 50 miles an hour in some places today day so um, it was a tri tricky day I did try a few attacks but kept falling off with a variable wind and stuff it's, it's it's quite hard to learn that so overpowered and then underpowered and all over the place I kept pushing on the attacks and kept trying to learn them but it's quite hard to learn something new when the wind's all over the place so I'll li leave that for another day and keep persevering at it and that's that's half a thing now the fluid large tall is for 1250 centimeters to squared now, I want to try this foil, and um, one of the lads has got it, so we're going to do a super swap day, and we're all going to try out each other's stuff, and I'll report back when I've tried it. I'm holding off from buying anything from Gong at the moment, because they seem to run a cycle from May to May, and I hope that in May, like they did last year and the year before, they might bring out some new foils. Um, last year, they brought out the high aspect ratio range, and they're all from 8.5, 9.5, and 10.5, respectively. And the year before that, 2021, was when they brought brought out the fluids and in a month later was the tall version of the fluids and the Veloci, um, which was really, really good. And, and they were all for an aspect ratio of about six, 6.2. So I kind of am hoping that this year that they might bring something out around about the 7.5 aspect ratio, a little bit like the Army Foils has brought out. They've got the, the um, mid aspect ratio ones now, which they're bringing out, which are all about seven, seven and a half aspect ratio. Um, and really what that, for me says is when you're in the stuff that we're in which is just like slop and little short waves and little rides you're going to be turning an awful lot so i don't want anything too high aspect because i've got to turn that and thingy so it depends on your conditions where you are as to what you need to be riding I, it's my opinion and i think that something around about the seven and a half is going to be really the sweet spot for the uk for the mush that we get here for the small short eight second sets that we get as well for the three, four foot waves. So it'd be interesting to see if they do bring anything out in May. So I'm gonna hold back from buying what they recommend, which was the large tall fluid. I'm gonna wait on until May to see if they bring something else out. I've still got loads of learning to do on the foils I already have. I'm still learning my tax, so there's still plenty for me to be learning. So it's not like it's holding me back. Um, I am just an amateur and I just do this for fun. I've still got plenty to learn on the current quiver that I'm using, especially the Fluid XLT. It's fast enough for me really. It's good with the kite stab on and I still need to learn these tacks so there's plenty for me to be getting on with and to be learning over the spring and summer. When they bring out the next lot of folds, which I'm hoping will be in May, um, then I will relook at what, they, uh, what they've got coming out and I'll maybe buy something for the higher winds and higher speeds and ready for next winter. So we'll see. Hopefully something in the 7.5 aspect ratio, but we'll see if they do or if they don't, you know. Um, like I say, Army Foils have just done that. They've just brought out the mid aspect, mid high aspect, how you want to look at it. And I think they're going to be perfect for mushy conditions in the UK, so we'll see. Really appreciate everybody watching and I thank, thank you very much for all the comments that are left down below. I like to read them all. It really inspires me to keep going doing this and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.